Um, Andy, well, uh, great. The Ashes are retained. Congratulations on that. It, it, that for you is that just sort of first base sort of uh, reached, uh, you know, with the whole series in mind? Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, you know, you, uh, we're in a good position in the series, obviously. Um, but we want to win the series. Uh, retaining the Ashes is important, of course, um, and I'm um, very proud of the team, and the team uh, are obviously proud after a hard-fought test, hard-fought three tests, uh, to be in this position. Uh, but we do want to go on to Durham and, uh, and win up there. Uh, how well do you think England have played in the series so far? We, I think we've played some outstanding cricket, and, uh, and uh, the opposition has uh, done the same. Um, but... Um, I, I think uh, our, uh, we've got to move on swiftly from a hard-fought, drawn test here um, and ensure that we are uh, ready to uh, win that test at Durham. Uh, do you feel there's uh, better to come from, from these games? Well, uh, it, was a, it was a brilliant test match for everyone uh, at Trent Bridge um, as, a, as a, the uh, start to the Ashes. Um, where we won by 14 runs. And uh, then we dominated the second test at Lords. Um, and then we were behind the game from, uh, uh, here at Old Trafford uh, for most of the game, but we fought hard. I thought our performance in the first innings um, was the key to drawing this game, to bat for 140 overs on a wearing pitch. Um, uh, Cook and Bell with excellent 60s and Peterson with a brilliant 100. Um, and, uh, and then some of our l lower order playing well uh, in amongst the tension of getting past the follow-on. I thought they did brilliantly. So, and, I, and I thought the fight and the resilience and the character that we showed in that first innings is the reason why we drew this test. It, it won't be 5 nil now, but I guess there's real determination to just win the next two and uh, win this series in style now the Ashes has been retained. Of course. Um, you know, we set out uh, with a very clear focus only on this Ashes series for the summer and not looking any further ahead than that. Um, and then paring that down even further, um, we will be looking at the Durham Test next. I guess the, it's such a quick turnaround, isn't it? You'll be looking at how the bowl will shape up in the next couple of days and the day would have helped. Yes, our, our, our bowlers have put in um, some extremely hard uh, work over the first couple of days here. Um, uh, the Australians batted well in the first innings. Um, and uh, they, uh, our bowlers will need to look after themselves over the next few days to be ready for that Durham test. Durham uh, can traditionally help the fast bowlers. Um, so we'd like to exploit that help up there. Onions and Tremlett have been added to the 11 that played here, um, and that, that gives us uh, flexibility if we want it. And of course, is it, is it a measure of how far the team has come against a couple of years ago? Um, retaining the ashes down under was a massive moment for the side, but it was, as you say, still very focused on, on winning the series now. And that, that seems to be the attitude of the ambassador. Well, that's our only focus. Um, we, we're in a great position, uh, but we want to ensure that uh, all focus is on the next test match. Uh, and once again, DRS has become a, a big talking point. I, I know it has been a bit of a theme throughout the series. What, what's, uh, uh, what's your view after this test match? Still some controversial decisions. There almost seems to be a bit of confusion as to how decisions are reached. I mean, you, you uh, made a, a sort of a plea to the ICC uh, and Jolton Trot Australia have done the same. Do you, do you think there, there is this kind of confusion that does exi exist now? Firstly, umpiring is a very tricky business, um, but I would say that there are very clear protocols uh, uh, to use um, and to stick to, and um, I think some calm decision-making needs to be made over the next two tests. Would you like to see the ICC? I know there's experiments looking at big screens and so on. Would you like to see the ICC uh, I think there are improvements that can be made. I'm not going to uh, suggest things right here and now, but I think there are improvements in the use of the technology and the use of experts that know how to use the technology that could make a difference to getting better results. Just a quick word on Ian Bell and his form over this series, obviously the last few years, but particularly the series as well. 
well, we saw another example of a, a beautifully skillful innings from Ian Bell in this game. And um, he was even there battling it out on that up and down pitch this morning. Uh, he's, he's been great to watch. He's a, he's a beautiful batsman to watch, the way he plays his shots. Um, but he's also shown uh, real skill and guts and resilience. And uh, those are things that he will be particularly proud of.